Oh, all right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shawa Kimale. I'm a reporter with Channel's Television. I'd like to ask you, um, it does look, I mean, I have two questions, uh, and they're quick ones. Um, you, you said that you're going to reclaim, and you said you won the election. If you'd like to expatiate on what you meant by that, uh, in what areas do you think, uh, because your speech does look to me like uh, the elections is flawed as far as you're concerned, what are the evidence that you have uh, to support the claim uh, about the conduct of the election? And if you can tell us which areas, what are the, what are the aspects of the elections you think that are not right? Uh, the second part of my question is, um, the journey since Saturday election, you seem to have formed an alliance with other political parties like the PDP. Are you doing this challenge on the election or the outcome of the election alongside with them? How much of partnership do you have uh, with the PDP? Have you spoken to uh, the, the candidate of the PDP? What kind of uh, alliance are you forming? Um, again, because of the sensitivity of the outcome, the nation went into a very crucial and tense election, came out of it, things uh, the nation is still very tense. And also, we, we discovered that the, the nation at this time needs to come together. Uh, what kind of words are you going to send out to your supporters and your followers uh, in respect to the fact that we must have a nation first uh, and that we must be able to keep the nation together? And lastly, have you spoken? Have you, have you spoken? Have you reached out to the man that was going to take the winner for Latin Thank you. Well, uh, you did ask me the process and the areas. If I tell you all this, I don't know what I'll be telling the cops. <laughs> We have passed the stage of that because we were asked to go to the court. Isn't that what they said? <laughs> so let's go there. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm, remember that I'm obedient. <laughs> I want to tell you, I'm going to go where I'm directed to go. So, and then you will see where and how. Or just to give you an emphasis, in 2015, the number of registered voters, if I can remember, is about, uh, what was it again? About 57 million registered voters and 29.4 voted. In 2019, that tally increased to about 80, 84 million. And about 28.4 million voted. And then we were told that about 11 million registered in 2022. If I'm correct, which brought the registration to about 95, but 87 collected their PVC because of the issue of not being able to collect their PVC, but only 23.3 million voted. You can see that how Nigeria works. So we have an increase of 11 million, and the voters dropped by sharply by over 20 percent instead of increasing. The reason it was due to manipulation and reduction and removal and inputs of votes here and there. Because otherwise the number is supposed to have increased. It didn't increase because people were busy doing what is wrong. And we are 